Hello, welcome to the Homeland server. Uh, the basic rules on this server are leave other people's stuff alone. So don't grief, don't break other people's stuff, don't take their stuff, and don't build on their land. So uh, when you enter, you start here, what we call Home Village. And we'll go over there a little bit. So we're not going to stay here. You can come back. This is one of the villages we maintain that you can trade at. You can harvest the wheat if you remember to replant it. And there are, normally you get enough seed, but if you don't, there are seeds and hoes in there. But your bet, uh, best option is to come over here to the rail station. Oops. We have to use an iron door so the villagers don't get in. So here we are at the rail station. There's my doggie. Say hi. Hi, doggies. Here is a minecart dispenser. So you grab yourself a minecart and come over to the rail station. Rail station operation is simple. You put your cart on the rail, on the powered rail, get in, and then you pick a destination. There's only one from Home Village, so we'll go there to Standing Way Station. Each line of a station is color coded, so this is color coded blue yellow. You can see we have the wool there to indicate that. So, <coughs> while there's quite a bit of land claimed, it's Minecraft, so there's always plenty more land. The desert around Home Village is claimed, but after that, all of this open area is unclaimed. Now, over there is Selenia, which is a homestead, and so the land just around there is claimed. But all of this is still open up to about here. There's a mine in operation there, and there's some other mining activity on the other side. Up here we have Tafares, which someday will be a city in the sky. Right now it's just a big park. And so now we're in pretty much all claimed lands. This land over here is mine up to the river just on the other side of that ridge. And my sheep farms. We'll see those a little bit closer in a minute. And here we are at Standing Wave. Now, if you're continuing on to someplace else, you wouldn't get out of the, your cart. You would simply pick another destination like Tafari's or Selenia, press the button, and continue on. And instead, we will knock our cart down and take it with us. So this is Central Hub. This will get you to most other locations. There's a couple of hubs that have additional uh, locations, but that's a, good, that's a good start. Up on top here, we have access to the nether. We'll keep spare fire resistance potions here. So you can take a couple of those if you want to adventure into the nether. Over here is the most interesting part of Standing Wave, which is the Sparkle Mart. This whole large building here is the Sparkle Mart. Over on this side, we have an enchanting table with maxed out bookshelves. We have a discards box. So if you find something in there that's available for use, it's where you throw magic items you don't need. And secure storage in the ender chest. We have ender chests at most rail stations. We'll be installing them and the rest of them in the near future. So that gives you very convenient access to your important items. On the other end, we have our alchemy setup. We have water, brewing stands, basic brewing supplies, a place to drop excess potions if you don't need them. And in the middle of the Sparkle Mart is the public stores. So this is all available for public use. Uh, don't abuse it by taking all the stuff, but uh, feel free to equip yourself out of here or use it for other projects. For instance, we have a whole lot of stone here, so don't hesitate to use some of that. Some, not all the boxes are full, but most of them have some stuff in them. So the important thing is there is a cobblestone. We have logs here. We have some pre-built wood products you can use. Over here we have leather, wool, and eggs. Eggs, critical ingredient there. But you can build yourself leather armor and stone tools and weapons Im pretty much immediately. We have bows and arrows, so you can equip uh, with that. And something important here, food. So you can go ahead and get some food to keep you going until you get your house set up. And we'll just give you, just as a final thing, we'll give you a quick look around the local area here. 
So over there is Sparky Boy's lands across the river from me. My sheep farms. Now you're allowed to get uh, wool out of the sheep farms. About there is a box with wool and shears in it. Don't take the last block of wool, but you can take any of the extra ones. Or you can use your shears. We have all 16 wool sheep colors here. And there's some wheat if any of the sheep are missing and you need to breed them up. This is Metalfoot's house. He only claims a little bit of land behind that. So much of this land here is available. This mountain is the edge of Kaliningrad, which is claimed, but just the mountains there. And there's Sparky Boy. Sparky Boy's land extends way up there along the river. Uh, my land is this extends to this just the other side of this ridge. Uh, and then there's some water on the other side with the boundary and some islands there. And that's about it. So come on in, get some supplies, find some unused land, and start building.